This video is about RNA polymerase types and function. RNA polymerase definition. RNA polymerase is a multi-unit enzyme that synthesizes RNA molecules from the DNA molecules during the process of transcription. It is responsible for transcribing the genes encoded in our DNA molecules into codable sequences of RNA which further helps during protein synthesis. RNA polymerase plays a vital role in transcription where it attaches itself to the promoter regions of DNA and initiates the process of transcription. Furthermore, this enzyme is also very important and it also adds ribonucleotides and grows the chain of RNA by using the DNA as a template. Moreover, it also terminates the process if it encounters termination sequence in the template DNA. RNA polymerase catalyzes the formation of phosphodiester bonds by adding ribonucleotide triphosphate or NTPs onto the growing chain of new strands. It uses the DNA template to build a polynucleotide with complementary base pairs. The free nucleotides U pair with T in the DNA template, G pair with C in the DNA template. So properties, RNA polymerase reads the template DNA as 3' prime to 5' prime, but synthesis the polynucleotide in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. RNA polymerase reads the template DNA as 3' prime to 5' prime, but synthesis the polynucleotides in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Reverse. RNA polymerase does not have nucleases activity, so it can't proofread as DNA polymerase does. No proofreading will be taking place. It does not require a primer to initiate the adding of incoming ribonucleotides, unlike DNA polymerase. It does not require a primer to initiate the adding, adding of incoming ribonucleotides. In a prokaryotic cell, a single species of RNA polymerase is present. However, the eukaryotic cell requires different RNA polymerase for synthesizing different RNAs. In the prokaryotic cell, a single species of RNA polymerase is present. However, the eukaryotic cell requires different RNA polymerase for synthesizing different RNAs. Additionally, eukaryotic DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase, once again I will be reading that point. In a prokaryotic cell, a single species of RNA polymerase is present. However, the eukaryotic cell requires different RNA polymerase for synthesizing different RNAs. Additionally, eukaryotic RNA polymerase requires many other proteins to initiate transcription, whereas prokaryotic RNA polymerase binds directly to the promoter regions in DNA. Eukaryotic RNA polymerase mechanism The major differences in the working mechanism of eukaryotic RNA polymerase and prokaryotic RNA polymerase is that eukaryotic RNA polymerase cannot initiate the process of transcription all by itself. But prokaryotic RNA polymerase can. The eukaryotic RNA polymerase needs additional proteins in order to perform its functions. These additional proteins are referred to as transcription factors. Promoter region of genes that are transcribed by RNA polymerase have a sequence that is similar to the TT, TATA box, TATA box of 25 to 30 nucleotides, just a little bit upstream from the transcription initiation site. Similar to Tata box, in the sequence of 25 to 30 nucleotides, transcription factor, transcription factor 2D binds. TF 2D, TF 2D, TF 2D. Now forget this. TF 2D itself is a multi subunit compound which provides a binding set for another transcription factor TF 2D. This one is D, next one B. TF 2D and TF 2B forming a complex at the promoter region. This complex serves as a bridge for the binding of RNA polymerase. This binding of RNA polymerase to the complex at the promoter region is facilitated by another transcription factor called the TF2F, TF2F, TF2D, TF2B and later TF2F. Following the recruitment of RNA polymerase to the promoter region, Additional transcription factors TF2E, TF2H are required to initiate transcription. TF2D itself is multi subunit compound which provides a binding site for another transcription factor called TF2B, forming a complex at the promoter region. This complex serves as a bridge for the binding of RNA polymerase. This binding of RNA polymerase to the complex at the promoter region is facilitated by another transcription factor called TF2F. 
ഇ എഫ് ടു എഫ് ഫോളോയിങ് ദ റിക്രൂട്ട്മെൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ആർ എൻ എ പോളിമറേസ് ടു ദ പ്രൊമോട്ട് ദ റീജൻ അഡീഷണൽ ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ടി എഫ് ടു ഇ ടി എഫ് ടു എച്ച് ആർ റിക്വയർഡ് ടു ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ടി എഫ് ടു എച്ച് ഈസ് എ മൾട്ടി സബ് യൂണിറ്റ് ഫാക്ടർ ദാറ്റ് ആക്ട്സ് എസ് എ ഹെലിക്കേസ് ടു അൺവൈൻഡ് ദ ഡബിൾ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഡി എൻ എ ടു മേക്ക് ദ ട്രാൻസ്ക്രൈബിംഗ് ഓഫ് ജീൻസ് പോസിബിൾ ഹെലിക്കേസ് ജസ്റ്റ് റിമെമ്പർ ഹെലിക്കേസ് എച്ച് ടി എഫ് ടു എഫ് ഓക്കെ ആക്ട്സ് എസ് എ ഹെലിക്കേസ് ദിസ് ഫാക്ടർ അൺവൈൻഡ് ദ ഡബിൾ ഡബിൾ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ഡി എൻ എ ടു മേക്ക് ദ ട്രാൻസ്ക്രൈബിംഗ് ഓഫ് ജീൻസ് പോസിബിൾ ദിസ് ഫാക്ടർ ഓൾസോ ആക്ട്സ് എസ് എ കൈനേസ് following the recruitment of rna polymerase to the promoter region additional transcription factors tf to e tf to h and tf to h acts as a helicase to unwind this double stranded dna to make the transcribing of genes possible this factor also acts as a kinase that phosphorylates rna polymerase making it break away from the initiation complex and thus letting the rna polymerase run along the dna template to synthesize chains of rna we now enter elongation elongation is characterized by the addition of ribonucleoside triphosphate ribonucleotide triphosphate by the formation of phosphodiester bond and release of pyrophosphate molecules elongation is characterized by the addition of ribonucleoside triphosphate rntps by the formation of phosphodiester bond and release of pyrophosphates molecules this reaction is catalyzed by two divalent metal ions namely magnesium ion and magne- manganese ion magnesium and manganese elongation is characterized by the addition of ribonucleoside triphosphate rntp via the formation of phosphodiester bond and release of pyrophosphates molecules this reaction is catalyzed by two divalent metal ions namely magnesium ion and manganese ion magnesium ion is responsible for bringing the 3 prime oh group of the primer to close proximity with a phosphate atom of incoming rntp due to which the 3 prime free hydroxyl group of primer now nucleophilically attacks a phosphate atom of the triphosphate group of incoming rntps and forms a phosphodiester bond as the bond is formed there is a significant charge developed on the oxygen that was previously bonded with phosphate atom and so stabilized this cha- charged manganese ion plays a vital role additionally manganese ion also assists in the departure of the phos- pyrophosphate groups the template of dna contains a terminal sequence which marks the termination of the transcription process the result of which is chains of rrnas this terminal sequence usually contains 14 nucleotides and the g series structure usually ending in 6 or 7a however the termination can also happen by cleaving off the growing chains of rna from rna polymerase by the action of exama protein called ro then prokaryotic rna polymerase mechanism unlike eukaryotic rna polymerase prokaryotic rna polymerase directly attaches to the promoter regions in the dna without the assistance of any transcription factors so unlike eukaryotic rna polymerase prokaryotic rna polymerase directly attaches to the promoter regions in the dna without the assistance of any transcription factors rna polymerase holo enzyme binds with promoter region and unwinds the dna strands and begins the synthesis of rna rna is synthesized in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction by reading the template of dna in the 5 prime to 3 prime i'm sorry 3 prime to 5 prime direction elongation is characterized by the addition of ribonucleotide phosphate triphosphate r n r n t p s via the formation of phosphodiester bond and release of pyrophosphate molecules this reaction is catalyzed by two divalent metal ions namely magnesium ion and manganese ion magnesium ion is responsible for, for bringing the 3 prime oh group of the primer to close proximity with the phosphate atom of incoming r n t p due to which the 3 prime o head free hydroxyl group of primer now nucleophilically attacks of 
phosphate atom of the triphosphate group of incoming R and TPs and forms a phosphodiester bond. As a bond is formed, there is significant charge developed on the oxygen that was previously bonded with phosphate atom and so stabilize the charge in manganese and place um, charge manganese ion plays a vital role. Additionally, manganese ion also assists in the departure of the pyrophosphate groups. The template of DNA contains a terminal sequence which marks the termination of the transcription process, the result of which is chains of RNAs. This terminal sequence usually contains 40 nucleotides and a GC rich stretch usually ending in 6 or 7 RA. However, the termination can also happen by cleaving off the growing chains of RNA from RNA polymerase by the action of exama protein called Rho. Structure of prokaryotic RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase in a prokaryotic cell is composed of five polynucleotide polypeptide subunits, an alpha subunit, a beta subunit, a beta prime subunit, and a mega subunit and a sigma subunit. RNA polymerase in a prokaryotic cell is composed of five polypeptide subunits, an alpha subunit, a beta subunit, a beta prime subunit, and an omega subunit and a sigma subunit. Just look at this figure. Okay. I would to write this Roman letters alpha, beta, beta prime. We will be putting a dash at the top of the, the beta sign. Beta prime, omega, some sort of inverted W, and the sigma subunit. Just write na in Hindi without the vertical line and, hor mm, and the horizontal line. Just that initial portion that is sigma okay the polymerase is a multi subunit holo enzyme the first step in the making of rna polymerase is the dimerization of the alpha subunit and acts as a scaffold to bring two other subunits beta subunit and beta prime subunit first dimerization of alpha subunit will be taking place and acts as a scaffold to bring two other subunits beta subunit while the other alpha subunit interacts with the beta prime subunit. Beta subunit is the prime subunit that has polymerase activity and synthesizes new RNA molecules along with the template of DNA. Beta prime subunit binds to the DNA and also coordinates metal ions for their catalytic activities. Omega subunit is the smallest of all and is involved in the assembly of holoenzyme and maintaining the structural integrity of the polymerase and finally the sigma subunit is crucial in the recognition of the promoter region in the DNA to initiate the process of transcription however the catalytic core comprises of a beta beta dash omega and sigma subunit only associate with the core during the recognition of a promoter region in the DNA template once the initiation site is determined, the sigma subunit dissociates from the catalytic core. So, structure of eukaryotic RNA polymerase. The eukaryotic cells contain three types of distinct RNA polymerase that are involved in the synthesis of different types of RNAs having their own specific functions. RNA polymerase 1 transcribes genes that yield rRNAs. RNA polymerase 2 transcribes protein coding genes and result in the synthesis of mRNAs. RNA polymerase 3 transcribes genes that yield R tRNAs. All of these three are complex of multi subunits. Enzymes consist of 8 to 14 subunits each. Although they recognize different promoters and transcribe different RNAs, they mostly share a common feature. Even the two large subunits of eukaryotic RNA polymerase. I'm sorry, are closely related to beta and beta dash sub beta prime subunits of prokaryotic RNA polymerase. Additionally, these three types of eukaryotic RNA polymerase have five similar subunits in their structures. The specificity of this three polymerase is determined by the interaction they have with the different other proteins, so referred to as transcriptional factors, also referred to as transcription factors. RNA polymerase 1 transcribe genes that yield rRNAs. 
ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് ടു ട്രാൻസ്ക്രൈബ്സ് പ്രോട്ടീൻ കോഡിങ് ജീൻസ് ആൻഡ് റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ ദ സെൻസിസ് ഓഫ് എം ആർ എൻ എസ് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് ത്രീ ട്രാൻസ്ക്രൈബ് ജീൻസ് ദറ്റ് യൂ ഡി ആർ എൻ എസ് അഡീഷണലി ഇത് ത്രീ ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇക്യാരിയോട്ടിക് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് ഹാവ് ഫൈവ് സിമിലർ സബ് യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ദർ സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ദ സ്പെസിഫിസിറ്റി ഇൻ ദ ത്രീ പൊളിമറേസ് ഇസ് ഡിറ്റർമിൻഡ് ബൈ ദ ഇൻട്രാക്ഷൻ ദ ഹാവ് വിത്ത് ദർ അതർ പ്രോട്ടീൻസ് ഓൾസോ റഫർ ടു ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷണൽ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് യു കാരിയോട്ടിക് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് കെ നോട്ട് ബൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ദ പ്രൊമോട്ട് റീജിയൺ ഓഫ് ഡി എൻ എ ഡയറക്റ്റ്ലി ലൈക് പ്രോ കാരിയോട്ടിക് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് ഡ്യൂ ദ ഫോർ ദ നീഡ് ദസ് ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു ബൈൻഡ് ഡി എൻ എ ആൻഡ് ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റ് ദ സെൻസസ് ഓഫ് ആർ എൻ എസ് ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ട്രാൻസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻവോൾവ് ഇൻ ദ സെൻസസ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് ആർ എൻ എസ് ആ പിവോട്ടൽ ഡിറ്റർമിനിങ് ദ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് റിക്വയർഡ് ആർ എൻ എ പൊളിമറേസ് സ്ട്രക്ചറലി ഇസ് ബ്രോഡ്ലി ഡിവൈഡ് ഇൻറ്റു ടു സബ് യൂണിറ്റ്സ് എ ലാർജ് സബ് യൂണിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എ സെക്കൻഡ് ലാർജ് സബ് യൂണിറ്റ് ദറ്റ് ആക്ട് കൊഹറൻ്റ്ലി ടു ട്രാൻസ്ക്രൈബ് റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ജീൻസ് The length of the subunits is different in all these three RNA polymerases discussed. For instance, RNA polymerase 2 contains 11 cleft loops in two subunits. Each loop has a specific length of amino residues. And the variation in the length of amino acid residues in each cleft loop is what separates one polymerase from the other. Types and functions. The major function of RNA polymerase is is to transcribe a specific gene in the DNA and synthesize RNA. The synthesis is characterized by the unwinding of that specific portion of the DNA and taking it as a template to transcribe the gene-directed RNAs. RNA polymerase 1, this enzyme is responsible for synthesizing ribosomal RNA. It transcribes the genes in the nucleolus and synthesizes the RNA in the nucleus itself. From where it is transported to cytoplasm via either nuclear pore or by carrier proteins where it forms ribosomes availability of rrna molecules produced by rna polymerase 1 can impact important functions in our body as rrna is a structural unit of the ribosome which in turn is a site for protein synthesis then rna polymerase 2 this enzyme is responsible for synthesizing messenger rnas it transcribes proteins encoding genes from the dna into suitable mrnas that can further be processed to take part in translation next is about the working of this enzyme which is directly influenced by the proteins that are to be synthesized if proper transcription of genes then would lead to translation of faulty proteins which can have a severe impact on our body then rna polymerase 3 this enzyme is responsible for synthesizing trans for rna tRNA is responsible for attaching amino acids and making a polypeptide chain as per the codons present in mRNA molecule during protein synthesis RNA polymerase 1 structure is given transcription initiation complexes of the three eukaryotic RNA polymerase image source uh, i'm sorry an RNA polymerase 1 RNA polymerase 2 and RNA polymerase 3 next RNA polymerase is an active target of pharmaceutical drugs due to its ubiquitous nature and various functions throughout the life of a cell moreover the biochemical difference in eukaryotic and prokaryotic rna polymerase allow specific drugs to target only prokaryotic cells without interfering our own cells with advancements in bio- molecular studies and molecular techniques the activity of rna polymerase can be altered by modifying their subunits or general transcription factors involved to synthesize required rna then bacteriophage encoded rna polymerase rnap rnap was first discovered in t7 phage infected escherichia coli cells phage rnap could recognize promoters on the phage genome and express phage genes using a single poly peptide polymerase of 100 kilo dalton molecular weight which is about four times smaller than my bacterial rnt rn aps this is simple enzyme compared to rn aps from bacteria five subunits and eukaryotes more than 12 subunits and plus the single unit t7 rn ap is able to recognize promoter dna and unwind double stranded ds dna to form open complex and after about the initiation it proceeds to process of rna elongation the simplicity of t4 phage rnap made it an ideal model system to study the transcription mechanism and an ideal tool for protein expression system in bacterial cells